when I dieted, I always, the only thing I cut out or I didn't add were fats. Yeah. When I was dieting, the fat I'd get would be just the natural fats from the meat and whatever. I never added fats to it. But my carbs, I never went lower than 250 grams. Some people go zero carbs or low carbs. But I figure you need you need protein, you need carbs, and you need a little bit of fat. So everything in moderation. Yeah. Unless you got your carb sensitive and you fucking blow up on carbs. It's like, you know, unless you got some sort of health problem that you need to cut them back. So this is the next one. This is actually from... Philip Fans. Philip Fans. Uh, if you're consuming a bunch of protein and protein powder, mm -hmm. how do you protect your kidneys? I'm kind of going through this right now with my increase of creatine in my kidneys. Mm -hmm. Because I remember you telling the story about your levels, weren't they? Like you're in yeah, a car that's, that's, accident. Yeah, that's from like yeah muscle breakdown and stuff. So sometimes it's not due to you eating the protein; it's just due to your muscle breaking down and releasing the creatine into your blood. So you have to just get your blood checked. And, you know, protein, it's like some people say a gram. Some people say if you're training really hard, you need at least two grams per pound of body weight. There's never really been a scientific study that says this is the exact yeah. number. So I think if you're around the one and a half grams of protein per pound of body weight, that's pretty good. But as far as the other breaking muscle down, that's going to happen no matter what. You have hard workouts and you go get your blood work done. If you had like done a heavy back workout one day, the next day you fucking blast legs and, you know, go crazy. If you go get your blood work done a day or two later, it's like it's probably going to be through the roof, the creatine level. So it's like one of those things you... But a good doctor would know it's from training and not yeah. from... That's why you should get it done every six months or a year so you can tell... But I'd say if you're going to get your blood work done, you want to check that. I wouldn't go crazy on heavy workouts a couple of days before. Just try and let everything settle down. You know, don't go having three days of big breakfast of sausages and eggs and bacon and stuff. And then, what's my cholesterol? Or don't go eating lots of chocolate and go, can you check my sugar? Yeah, no. <laughs> and oh, you're fucked. Your, your cholesterol's up, your sugar's up, and your kidneys are, liver's packing it in. So, you know, I've had normal doctors look at my stuff and they're like, oh, my God. Your kidneys are high, but then if I go to a sports doctor, that it's normal for athletes. We see that all the time. So, and what was your highest level? Did they say? Oh, By the time I got really sick because I wasn't drinking enough, I was like, and something. So you weren't drinking enough water. No, they like flush it out. So yeah, I sort of dehydrated and <laughs> breaking all the muscle tissue down. So the blood was getting thicker. So drink heaps of water. Mm. Heaps of water. Plus you can get like milk thistle now, and there's all lots of. Liver 52, I think, is one of the best ones still out there by Himalaya. It's one of the good ones. It's from India, and those people are on it, and they drink lots of bad water and have lots of stuff, and their liver's good. And I actually had a friend who had his liver really bad. He started taking that. And there was another one it's by, it's by a company, supplement company, starts with C, Cabotone or Caber. But they do like a liver detox one, and it's really good. And he was taking them, and... His numbers dropped a lot when he went and got his next blood work done. So there are things out there to monitor. So I follow McCullough. He's a, a doctor, even though he's like an osteo thing. So no. they call him a fake one. <laughs> but he's still training at nearly 70, I think mm -hmm. he is. Like still in great, you know. And he's, he's Oh, you listen to that old man for? What's yeah. that now? <laughs> but the latest. Does he do hip for us? No, the, the <laughs> latest studies are that um, carbohydrates are, are so important. And mm -hmm. he, he was. See, I've never cut them out. I know people that do keto diets, and stuff, but I've always said when I dieted, I always, the only thing I cut out or I didn't add were fats. Yeah. When I was dieting, the fat I'd get would be just the natural fats from the meat and whatever. I never added fats to it, but my carbs, I never went lower than 250 grams. Some people go zero carbs or low carbs, but I figure you need, you need protein, you need carbs, and you need a little bit of fat. So everything in moderation, Yeah. unless you got you're carb sensitive and you fucking blow up on carbs it's like you know unless you got some sort of health problem that you need to cut them back you need them so like i said just in moderation you don't have to go crazy and go a thousand grams of carbs and put weight on but if you're just eating carbs in like rice or a bit of potato or vegetables and stuff there's nothing wrong with that like i said these people who go from one extreme to the other let me try this diet let me try the keto diet let me try the when the atkins diet was out with all high bacon and proteins and no carbs at all get your energy from fat sources so i think you just got to be sensible and like i said just have a balanced diet of everything but in moderation yeah, no, the, the, he was always low-carb and restricted him. Mm -hmm. 
And then with this study, apparently it makes your cells work better, but, it, you know, it's mainly from fruit and mm. those sort of things. That's another thing, even fruit. I mean, when I went to America, I'd still eat fruit when I'm dieting. And the Americans, oh, my God. Yeah. How can you have apples and that? They've got sugar in them, and how can you have that? Like, they wouldn't even eat tomato because, oh, there's sugar and sodium in that. I'm like, yeah, but it's natural. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> how much of it do I have to eat? <laughs> you know, it's like, show me a fat vegetarian that's fucking obese from eating fruit and vegetables. So, yeah, they couldn't believe it. Sometimes, like, I want something sweet, I'd have, like, you know, the tin peaches in their natural syrup or yep. I'd have a bowl of lemon. They're like, oh, do you know how much sugar's in that? I'm like, <laughs> what? I've, I'm doing two or three hours of cardio a day. I'm training twice a day. I don't really think that a little bit of sugar in the peaches is going to destroy me yeah. or an apple. I was like, no, they go mad. I can't have that. No, well, that's what, you know, he said he actually he's, he lost weight by increasing his carbs because mm-hmm. they're, they're saying it makes your cells work better. So yeah. I guess the the moral, the whole point is, just eat a balanced diet. Exactly. A little bit of protein, a little bit of carbs. Mm-hmm. And, You're going to uh, find that balance, what works for you. You might yeah. have too many carbs and think it's fine you're putting weight on, so you might have to step them back a bit. And it all depends on the type of carbs. You know, yeah. you, you wouldn't go eat a whole big plate of mashed potatoes before you go to bed and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, if I was dieting during the morning and up to like 2 o'clock, that's when I'd have like the oatmeal, the potatoes, the rice and that. Then generally after 2 p.m. I'd be more vegetables and salads sort of like the more fibrous type carbs that weren't yeah. as heavy. So you just got to work it out. But, yeah, going from one extreme to the other and cutting something completely out, I've never never been on that bandwagon. Unless, like I said, unless there was a medical problem and you had to. Yeah, but yeah. up until then, it's like, pff, why? All right. So, yeah, just, just don't go nuts on protein and just no. balanced diet, drink plenty of water, and mm-hmm. you should be sweet. Yep.